welcome back uh, my name is prashant and we are going through the series let's learn automation script where we are looking at the concepts of automation script and mbo framework so we talked about the mbo life cycle and now we are going to talk about field level or attribute life cycle so as i mentioned that field level and attribute classes are available whenever you want to do some logic to be called on a specific field for example on work order work type whenever somebody chooses the value of the work type lookup you want something to happen then that particular logic is going to be triggered by field level class or which we can say attribute based launch point when we are talking about an automation script so the basic difference is that when you want some logic to happen when the user save a, save the mbo he click on the save button then you will be writing object based launch point when you want something to happen as soon as user chooses the value from uh for example he is choosing the value from the lookup list or he is doing he is tabbing out in that particular case without saving you want some logic to be uh called on that you are going to write in field level class or you are going to write attribute based launch point for it so the same way if you see the life cycle first the instantiation of the class and then the init method will be called uh where uh this is the init method in which you will be first initial first the value will be initialized and uh you can also put the find uh, initial property as well as you can put some constraints over there uh for example uh you want to control some of the um uh, access then you can also do that then the next one is validate so whenever you are going to do a tab out in any field then validate method will be called so validate method is something where you will be actually able to validate the value and then you will be actually be able to check for the error and you can also show the error message if the validation fails next one is action when you want to perform one action on the basis of when the value is selected for example the the whenever there are is a change on the field value there is an update on the uh, you the user is selecting something uh, let me give an example the user you are using uh, there is a requirement that whenever uh, user will be choosing the work type of work order say for example he chooses the work type as cm then the field uh, another field failure code should become mandatory so this particular thing can be done with uh, where you can write the logic in action as well finally there is a method which are available for has list and get list so these are methods specifically for max table domain and in this particular case you will be actually work able to work with uh, the list you will be actually able to fetch value in the list and uh, you will actually able to uh, validate uh, whether the value is available in the list from the has list method so if you see to the let us first see like where are the places where you will actually be defining the field level classes so if you go to database configuration take any mbo and then you will be able to see attribute you can see all the different attributes are there so you need to look for attribute and here you have classes so these are the classes which are field classes so for example let me search site if i search site you can see that there is a class right so this is a class which has all the methods which they will be called whenever uh, the value the value will be added or the validation will happen or the action will happen on the, whenever the value will change in this particular field so if we go to automation script come to create you can see you have option of script with attribute launch point where you will be able to define launch point you will be able to define object and here you have attribute this was not there in mbo if you remember because this here you are choose selecting which is the method or the field on which you want this particular logic to trigger for example in my case i want a logic to trigger in whenever user is choosing work type so i will be choosing mbo and i will be choosing attribute as work type then i have methods as i mentioned i has initialize access restriction i have initialize value i can do validate i can work with retrieve list and then i can do run action so i will be able to choose any of the method and i will be able to write my action based uh, launch point i hope you like this content stay connected do like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much